So today I'm going to be doing a video review of the new Glitter Me Happy brush set from Sephora. I'm sure you guys have seen this probably on their website on the homepage. And if you didn't know, every year Sephora around the holiday season comes out with their special limited edition brush set. For the past few years I have collected them and purchased them every year. And you may have seen my review of the 24 karat gold ones that was from last year's collection. And I'm sure you've seen me use the chrome with the clear acrylic stand god knows how many times in my videos so these are the two that i currently own they're beautiful sephora always comes out with such a nice collection and they're getting i mean they usually have the same type of feral um and yeah it's always a different array of brushes different shapes so having all of them is just a really great addition to my kit even though i don't really use them too often especially not the gold ones because they're just so pretty these ones i use all the time but um yeah, so I'm going to show you the new brush set right now. It retails for $85 and is a $225 value. And this is what it looks like. So the box is a beautiful, beautiful rose gold tone with a mirror finish. And on the inside, you see the brush stand here at the bottom with the glitter all encased inside the acrylic. And then the brushes themselves. On the back, there is a hello camera, a little diagram telling you where the brushes are located in the stand and what their purpose is. This is the stand. It says Twinkle of My Eye on it, and there's all this beautiful copper rose gold glitter inside. It is a curved stand, as you can see, and it's <laughs> it's so pretty. I mean, these three together, when you have them just all side by side, I can't hold all three at once, but mm. this is what the brushes look like. They have two face brushes right here, and then the rest, these three are eye brushes and then one lip brush. And the thing that I love most about these brushes is the ends of them. It's this, it's this ivory toned rubberized th texture. And in the old ones, they were black. So I just, I love, love how they're sticking with this design, but just changing it up a little bit. I think it's so classy. And the white handle just makes it very refined, very sophisticated. And of course, the rose gold ferrule is very sleek and nice to hold as well. And yeah, these are super, super beautiful ferrules. The rose gold tone is just gorgeous. And the brush, the brush heads themselves have a rose gold tone to them. They're like kind of pink hued and they're so soft. I believe these are synthetic fiber bristles if I'm not mistaken and they are the softest brushes that I own. And this is what they call the blush brush. So you can pretty much use this for anything that you'd like but it is definitely ideal for blush or hollowing out the cheekbones to contour. I mean you could even set the under eye with this brush. This is just an all over powder brush that's just awesome and I cannot wait to use it. Next brush right here is a pointed foundation brush. It looks like this, again, with the same ivory white bone tone handle end, and then the rose gold ferrule, of course. And this brush is a very tapered, pointed foundation brush. It's rounded all around, so it's not, um, when I first saw it online, I thought it was gonna be like the Real Techniques one that's kind of like a diamond shape and it has a flat edge, but this one is just circular. The entire 360 degrees around the brush and I can definitely see myself using this to do cream contouring, contouring down the nose and it's marketed as the pointed foundation brush so you definitely could do your foundation everywhere, get under the eyes and blend out concealer. The shape of this brush is just very very ideal for working with cream products and I can't wait, cannot wait to try this. The next brush is very very similar to the MAC, is it the 217? No, it's the, the Sigma E40. It's very similar to the Sigma E40. So it's this long tapered shape like this. And it's just, again, beautiful ferrule. The tone is awesome. They're weighted nicely. They feel very easy to hold. 
and they're so soft. I mean, I don't even feel... It's so comfortable to work in the crease with this. I mean, you know how some brushes can have that, like, scratchy, irritating texture? And especially after you've washed them for a few times, they can start to fray at the ends, and it just drags on your eye, and that's not... It's not cute any day. So this brush I cannot wait to use in an eye look upcoming for you guys. And it, I just, I love support brushes. They're so, so soft. Okay, the next brush is the, what do they call this? Precision Concealer Brush. Okay, I'm sorry. This is actually not an eye brush. This is a concealer brush, but I wouldn't use this for concealer. I would use this as a pencil brush to do a cut crease or blend out the lower lash line. I guess you would conceal with this, but I generally don't have any blemishes or anything that I really can't cover up with a, like a layer of foundation. So I don't use concealer brushes very often for anything other than eyeshadow and eye application. Most of my brushes that are my favorite for packing on color are actually concealer brushes or what they market it as a concealer brush. So this brush I cannot wait to try out for doing a like sharp as hell cut crease or again smoking at the lower lash line and I guess I could even contour the nose of this and I will try it to conceal as well so I can let you guys know how it performs in the regard that they like designate this for. Okay the next brush is I'm assuming like a flat shader brush. Yeah this is the all over shadow brush. It looks like this. It has a very flat stiff head. It's very similar in shape to one of the Coastal Sense brushes that I have. You guys actually may have that same brush because it came as a sample in an Ipsy. So if you got that Coastal Sense brush, it's very similar to that, but like a bajillion times softer and prettier, of course. And that is what it looks like. Sorry. Ugh, I don't want to squish it. But it's really, really dense and it's very flexible at the same time, but doesn't bend too easily. So you can definitely pack color right onto the crease. You could even blend out a crease color as well. I mean, you could use this for so many things. Contouring the nose, going under the lash line, contouring under the lip, or defining the... whatever this is called. Highlighting the brow bone. I mean, there's so, so many things you could do with this. And map out your contour, cream contour. And lastly is the Sephora Lip Brush. And this is definitely definitely a lip brush. It's like very small and precise. It has a pointed tip. I can totally see you carving out a cupid's bow or doing very like precise work if you do like lip art. You know, like when you see on Instagram and people have amazing, amazing like pictures on their lips, like cool designs. This would be great for that. You could also clean up around the edges at, like to conceal. So if you have like a liquid lipstick that doesn't really need a brush to be applied, like the Anastasia, you could use this brush to conceal and just clean up around the edges. And yeah, let me just show you guys a close-up of the actual stand itself with the brushes not in it because it's kind of hard to hold it. So this is what it looks like. You can see through it. It's stunning. So pretty. I mean, it kind of, like, you get mem mesmerized by the glitter. And, like, oh, it's, it's beautiful. So guys, that concludes my video review of the Sephora brush set. I guess this isn't really a review, I haven't even used them yet, so this is my first impressions. But I kind of am familiar enough with, obviously, Sephora's brushes and their holiday sets to know how they're going to perform ahead of time, basically. And you guys just know sometimes when you feel something or when you are familiar with that product, like the past version of it, you pretty much know something's going to be awesome. So I have no hesitations about saying that this is an amazing, amazing brush that totally worth the money. I would have spent like $200 on this brush set if they priced it at it. $85 I think is a great value and the brushes are beautiful. They will look great on anyone's vanity and if you own any of the other holiday brush sets, it's definitely something that you want to add to your collection because this one I think is, personally, I think this is the most beautiful one that they've done and I... I really enjoy it. The, the past ones, the the brushes in this past one, the end ones, were not that great. Like, I don't use them that often. The only ones I use is the powder brush and the foundation brush. These ones are kind of weird. But these, I can totally see myself using. That was what I wanted in this year's set, was brushes that I could use on my eyes more. And this totally delivers. So, great, great value. I think you guys should definitely pick it up before it goes away. And, yeah. I will see you guys next time. My next video coming up will be a review of the LOC Ultimate Collection curated by Tati. Um, I, I cannot wait for that video. It's probably the one that I'm anticipating most that I've ever done on my channel. It's something that I'm so excited about. 
she's someone who I've been watching since day one of her channel. Before I even had a YouTube account to comment with, I would always log on. I like wrote her URL down so I could go back to it every day. And she is what inspired me to create my YouTube channel. So I definitely cannot wait to support her and buy her collection. So that video will be coming up very soon for you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all next time. And don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with my upcoming videos like the review of the LOC collection coming up very soon. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.